hello everyone and welcome to the channel in this video i am going to show you a very nifty little tool called as Promptech. Promptech is quite easy to use but the important thing here is to understand what exactly is Promptech and why do we need it we will be installing it too and we will also see it in action but as i said before that let's try to understand what exactly this does it's a very lightweight decorator based python library that simplifies interactions with llms using light llm tool now what is light llm i already have covered light llm a lot on the channel so if you're interested please search search it in simple words light llm is an open AI format tool that allows you to interact with hundreds and hundreds of LLMs. Those LLMs could be locally hosted in Olama or they could be API based from AWS Bedrock, Azure, OpenAI, Vertex AI, Cohere, and the list goes on and on and on. And as I said, I have done heaps of videos on Light LLM. So if you go to my channel, and just search with light llm you should be able to find um, i think multi dozen videos around light llm from different angles it is quite a good tool by the way so what we are going to do here we are going to install light llm then we will install this uh, promptech and then we will integrate it i will be using local models and i will be using olama locally again if you don't know what olama is please search the channel i have done more than 500 videos on olama and i'm not exaggerating olama is one of the easiest and fastest tool to run large language models locally in a very very easy way and there are heaps of models which you can run i believe i will be going with llama 3.1 if you don't know how to install it i have done the video but just for a quick one click on download and then for linux just grab this command or for windows just download the xe okay and same goes for mac os by the way coming back to this prompt tech. now before um i tell you more about it let me give a huge thanks to mast compute who are sponsoring the vm and gpu for this video if you're looking to rent a gpu on affordable prices i will drop the link to their website in video's description plus i'm also going to give you a coupon code of 50 percent discount on range of gpus okay so now again this prompt tech, uh, prompt tech is a simple tool that enables the developers to effortlessly create prompts handle input arguments and receive structured outputs from llms with minimal code and then there are various advantages of it for example it simplifies your llm interaction because it abstracts away the complexities of llm interactions allowing developers to focus on defining prompts and receiving structured outputs and that is the main key idea behind it also, it lets you define prompts using function doc strings and decorate them with promptech.llm and I will also sh show you shortly in action. It is quite robust because it is designed to be simple, functional and uh, really uh, performant, providing exactly what you need 90% of the time when working with LLMs. And that is a big thing really. So it has a decorator based API. It automatically interpolates function arguments into the prompt. It also has Pydentic support. Pydentic is a very popular Python library used for building robust, scalable, and maintainable data models. It provides runtime type checking and validation. It also allows developers to define structured data model using Python type annotations. And I already have covered Pydentic in various videos. So Promptech also receives LLM responses in real time where you can turn on the streaming or you can simply go with completion so um i believe that's enough introduction let's go to my local system where i am running this ubuntu 22.04 let me quickly show you and i have one gpu card which is nvidia rtx a6000 with 48 gb of vram let me clear the screen i already have olama installed as you can see here and I'm running all uh, Llama 3.1 model here. If you don't have it, simply do Olama pull and then just the model name here. It is going to download the Olama for you and it is just less than 5 gig in size. So let me clear the screen. First up, 
let's create a virtual environment to keep everything separate let me create it quickly it is going to create this virtual environment and then it is going to activate it should not take too long that is done next up let's install the light llm first and then prompt tech um, and i'm simply using pip with this so the installation is quite straight forward let's wait for these to get installed do not take too long so that's done let me clear the screen here so everything is set up and now let me show you the prompt tech in action so let me launch my python interpreter you can put everything in a python code in a dot py file or you can just use any notebook if you like i'm just going to go with this um, python interpreter so first up i'm just importing this light llm let me first quickly show you how you can use light llm i'm not using prompt tick at the moment i'm just showing you that how you can integrate light llm with olama so you see light llm is already there and we have used our local olama model with llama 3.1 which i just showed you and i'm asking it the prompt that respond in 20 words who are you and you can give any prompt and this is my local host at port 11434 so if you print the response here this response will come from the locally running model this is the response with all the metadata okay so this is how light llm works so which is running all good olama is integrated and now we are going to use prompt tech to use light llm which is behind the scene we'll be using our olama model let me clear the screen by pressing ctrl l let's let me show you how you can use this prompt tech in a completion way so i'm importing this llm from prompt tech let's use the decorator as i mentioned earlier so this is the decorator at llm which changes the behavior of function and then i have just defined a simple function which takes in as argument here and then returns us the response so if i run this function here with the argument 2000 it is going to tell us who was the president of us in 2000 and it was bill clinton so this is one way of doing it and you can even uh, take it more advanced level as i mentioned earlier you can simply go with um, pydentic which makes it more i would say structured output and that is the whole idea behind pydentic so let me show you that example let me press ctrl l here to clear the screen let's import this stuff again like pydentic and all that let's define a python class and we are just going to give it two attributes here country and capital and then let's define our function with the decorator again the decorator is llm which comes from prompt tech so i'm just defining a capital country it is going to return the capital of that country so if you for example run something like this like print capital ethiopia and it is Adis Ababa. So this is how you just get this structured output from there. And that is what I was referring. For example, if you have your own code base, you want the output to be most of the time same in a specific format, specific structured. You can use this prompting with the help of Pydantic. So makes it really easy, makes it really um, quite solid and reliable. So I will drop the link to this prompt tech in video description play around with it it's quite good I really like it and as I mentioned earlier not only completion you can also do the streaming with it I hope that you enjoyed it let me know what you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching